Hi everyone and welcome to the Private Practice with Soul podcast. This is the first podcast for counsellors that just don't align with the traditional approaches to business and that want to use their spiritual gifts, talents and interests to create, you guessed it, a private practice with soul. So look, leave it to me to provide you with everything you need, including strategies that you can use to increase your income, reduce your workload and of course increase inquiries and referrals to your beautiful soul-led private practice. I love it so much. If you haven't done it already, grab your journal, grab your pen and let's begin. Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of the Private Practice with Soul podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Brooklyn Storm. Welcome to new listeners. And of course, thank you so much to existing loyal listeners for pushing play on yet another episode. I am so excited to be here. If I sound calm though, it's because it's only about an hour away before I go and have my very first experience of a salt room. And I'm so excited about it. I rang the um, private C. That's the name of the place I go to. I rang the private C today and I said, oh, I haven't been here before for this. What do I need to do? And they were like, just wear loose clothing and you're going to be fine and da, da, da. So I thought, okay, I'll take a journal. I'll take a pen. I'll take my water. Um, I'm just going to sit there and enjoy it. So yeah, really looking forward to that. So I'm trying to get all in the calm zone before I go. <laughs> but anywho. Today, I wanted to share with you an experience I had recently around money mindset. Uh, And I want to share with you a technique that I created that has really, really helped me with this because I think it can really help you as well. Um, And even if it helps just one person, then I feel really great about that, like my job has been done. So what happened was, I really, really, really wanted to give my amazing brand new assistant more hours, but I had a mini panic attack about it because I was thinking about the money. So I have allocations for the money for the business. So every time money comes in, so my money comes through Stripe and it lands in my bank account on a Monday or Tuesday. I think I set it up to transfer on the Monday. So it actually arrives on the Tuesday. Um, And then on the Tuesday, I've got automatic payments going out. So I've got some money from that will go to marketing, a little savings account for marketing. One will go to a little savings account for supervision or or my own coaching and PD. One will go to a little account for tax. Do you know what I mean? You get the idea. So stuff like that. Um, Anyway, I didn't have a budget for a virtual assistant. It just was not in my plan to get one. So now I'm having to shuffle everything and juggle everything hence the little panic attack because um turns out she's actually a really good assistant um not just because she's great with the work and she's great with her communication but it's also like i don't know um (laughs) i don't even know how to describe it you know how you know um what do I want to say? Every once in a while in your lifetime, you just come across somebody that you just have this instant connection with. And we just feel like we've known each other for so much longer than two weeks. (laughs) Like it's ridiculous. We are on the phone to each other all the time, which says a lot because she's in London and I'm here. (laughs) So we're 11 hours apart. I'm 11 hours ahead of her. Um, And so we speak in the mornings to each other and we're sending each other messages and calling each other and then at night time as well when I'm going to bed she's getting up and it's just oh it's so much fun and yeah we're just yeah I don't I can't explain it it's just like a match made in heaven and so I really want to give her more hours um but there was this part of me that's like wait stop no you can't uh, you don't have a line in the budget allocated for VA maybe you can do that from July we'll set you up a new a budget you know we'll organize things so I, I had all of this stuff and I was like oh I don't know what to do so let me tell you what I did how I made it work the first thing that I did was I you know checked in with myself <laughs> which I didn't really need to do because I, I knew I was seizing my whole body was seizing because of the fear of oh, what it's not in my plan it's not in my plan um and, and scarcity mindset and, you know, all of that was sort of kicking in. So I had very physical responses to sending money out into the universe. Um, 
And then, so that was the first thing. So I like became aware. So I would say next time I'm going to just like call it checking in, but it was just really becoming aware of how I was feeling. The second thing I did was I asked myself, why? Okay. Why was I feeling this way? What was going on for me? So I tried to unpack it a little bit, right? I wanted to just um, unpack it a little bit, acknowledge the fear and just put the fear lovingly to one side for a moment because I knew it was clouding my judgment. Um, so I just said, yeah, I know that I'm scared and I know I'm nervous and I know I'm, I'm anxious and, and worried about all of this, but I'm just going to put that over there for now while I try and figure things out. So that's what I did. The next thing that I did was I really thought about what was important to me in the moment what was really important to me so a couple of things like my big shadow value that I'm working with at the moment is freedom it's also referred to as control but not like in a bad way like not controlling um, control over my day control over my time control over my diary control over my self-care those sorts of things um, I call it freedom but the actual shadow value is called control but freedom to have choices about how I want to do things and, and how I want to be right so I just made myself become aware I, I wanted to connect with my values again I thought okay great I am aware that I really want more freedom right now and I really want to refine things for the business they're the two things that are the most important for me this year once I'd done that I then asked myself how will giving her more hours give me more freedom? How will it give me more control over my time, my diary, my day, um, my energy? How will it give me more choices? And then I wrote down all the ways I could think of that giving her some extra time would give me um, greater flexibility over my own time, my day, my money, my income, my energy, my joy, my happiness, my peace of mind, um, my well-being, all those sorts of things. And then I did it for my second value, which is about really refining things this year. So not adding new things, but just improving the things that I've already got. And I thought, how many ways will giving her these extra hours help me to refine what's going on in the business and I thought well um she can update this that the other da, 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 da. and I wrote down all the different ways and then it all started to make a lot of sense and it all started to feel really good so I checked in with myself again and I asked myself how's this feeling now and do you know what the fear had disappeared that I, I wasn't feeling stressed or anxious anymore I was starting to feel like Hmm, this actually feels like really good, really good meaning I can see how this is going to help me. I can almost taste the freedom on the other side of this and I can almost see the improvements to my business as a result of this. One of the other things I realized was if she's doing work that's, that's taking up my time, that's time that I could also be um, working with groups and, and delivering things that I really, really love to deliver, you see. So it's all starting to feel really, really good. And then I thought, is there any fear here? And do you know what? There wasn't any fear because now I was excited about the freedom and I was really excited about refining things, but mostly the freedom. Like I really, really, really just want so many choices this year and I want so much more freedom. So I, I actually got excited. And do you know what I did then? I asked myself, so what? what's my next step? What do I need to do? And I increased her hours. And do you know what? feels really 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 good and I'm just so excited because now I'm going to have even more time to myself I'm having more of my value because I'm taking this action and so now I'm I'm so happy so anyway I contacted her and I said yeah let's do it let's increase the hours send me a new agreement we'll start it from February um because she works on month monthly contracts so I was like we'll start it from February and she was so excited as well and um she said yes and oh we'll, we'll be so happy and then I got off the phone and I checked in with myself again I was like how do I feel now and I thought I just feel more free now that it's all locked in I just felt like 
a load had been taken off me and I felt invigorated and refreshed and recharged and excited and oh, I just felt all the good things and I really believe it was because I took the time to align it with my values and, and to tune in with my values. And so that's my process. So I'm going to give it to you. If you have your podcast journal handy, um, maybe go and grab that and a pen, maybe hit pause because I'm just going to go straight into the steps so that you can use these steps for yourself next time you have a scary decision to make in your practice. Like maybe you've been wanting to work with me for mentoring or coaching and you think to yourself, oh, geez, I don't know where I'm going to find the money and da, 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 well, I, what's the return on the investment and all this sort of scarce scarcity stuff or the fear or the anxiety gets in the way. I want you to have a go of using this. It doesn't have to be working with me. I was just using that as an example. It could be going and doing your PD. It could be going and, um, I don't know, paying for your insurance. It could be upgrading your computer, getting a, a nice laptop or, or a um mac or something like that totally up to you but i want you to apply the process the next time you need to make a big decision for your practice right so here we go first of all check in with yourself make a note about how you're feeling that's step one check in now you're probably gonna say i'm feeling scared and everything step two unpack the fear what is it that you're really afraid of Just bullet point those things, okay? Don't edit them. Don't correct them. No one's ever going to see this. It's totally fine what you write. Everything is true for you. So just write down everything that you're feeling afraid of. The next thing that I want you to do is write down, you know, the two things that are most important to you at the moment, or maybe you just have one overarching value. Maybe, um, you know, you heard mine was freedom at the moment, but think what yours is. Yours might be belonging or it could be authority or it could be superiority or yours could be freedom. But anyway, write that down. And then the next step is to connect this value with the thing that you're making a decision about. So I want you to say to yourself, How many ways will enrolling in this thing, signing up for this thing, buying this thing, give me more of the value, whatever the value was? How will signing up for this PD give me more authority, give me more belonging, give me more joy, whatever? After you've written out all the ways so I want you to really brainstorm and come up with like five ways minimum of how doing this thing that you want to do will give you more of the value that you have after you've done that check in with yourself and see where you're at where's the fear at now I bet it's probably gone if not it'll be hardly there and then I want you to ask yourself so what's my next step right this is where the aligned action comes in And I want you to take that action. And after you take that action, I want you to check in with yourself again about how you're feeling. So that's the process. And it really works. And that's why I'm sharing it with you. And I know I'm not a guru and not everything's going to work for everybody. I understand that. But I want to share it with you because you know what? Maybe um even if it doesn't you might get inspired and you might create your own variation on it or something like that i just want you to have it so that next time you are in a position where you need to make a big decision you can feel more confident about it moving forward so i hope this is really 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 helpful and um you know hang on to it please save this episode for the future because i want you to know that you're always supported and sometimes it can be hard to find podcast episodes when you're in a rush (laughs) or you're stressed or you're nervous so please save it now so that you've got it i will also do a little instagram carousel on it for you as well so if you're more into Instagram and stuff you can just pop in there and you can save that so you can access it later on too otherwise that's all for today um I could go and get some loose clothes now try and find my water bottle 
get ready. Um, yeah, so excited to go for this salt therapy. Anywho, I hope you all have a really, 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 really beautiful weekend. I will see you on Monday in our groups. Bye, everybody. Thanks for listening. I hope that you loved this episode as much as I loved putting it together for you. To get more resources to help you in your private practice, head over to Instagram. My handle is at the private practice coach. And also, if you want more inquiries and referrals for your business, let me know. I have a program called Clients on Demand that opens every quarter, and I can absolutely get you some information for that as well. You are doing an amazing job. Thank you for sharing your gift with the world. Bye. I hope that you loved this episode as much as I loved putting it together for you. To get more resources to help you in your private practice, head over to Instagram. My handle is at the private practice coach. And also, if you want more inquiries and referrals for your business, let me know. I have a program called Clients on Demand that opens every quarter, and I can absolutely get you some information for that as well. You are doing an amazing job. Thank you for sharing your gifts with the world. Bye.